what's up guys uh, welcome back to my youtube channel so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to plot a survey plan in civo 3d or just any other autocad application that uh, you have so uh, one thing that you need to have is the uh, survey plan and then you also need to have installed uh, the autocad application so the first step that uh, you need to do in a uh, autocad application is to type uh, units type units and then uh, click enter uh, so this step uh, you want to set our units right then so look at uh, we have uh, the length section this is where we want to set the length so uh, uh, the length type is uh, decimal and then the precision you're going to I'm going to set it to two decimal places and then on the angle section uh we're going to set the how the bearing is going to look like so uh, i'm going to the type i'm going to set degrees uh, minutes and seconds and then uh, precision i want to leave it as a default so degrees minutes seconds like that and then uh, i'm going to check this clockwise uh, click on that to check to to set it to clockwise and then go to direction so under direction control you need to choose the north so select north like that and then uh, click ok uh, and then under units and scale you can choose a uh, feet uh, you can choose yards you can choose miles so i'll leave mine as uh, meters so having said that just click ok and then now you have your units set and you are ready to start uh, plotting your survey plan so i'm going to start from this uh, particular point uh this is uh, mx1 so and we are going to use uh the bearing and the distances to plot this uh, survey plan so you realize that uh, in this uh, survey plan we have the dimensions label we have the bearing we have the distances uh, so in order to start uh, plotting now the first thing you need to choose uh you can choose polyline or uh, poly just choose a uh, polyline so these are polyline you can uh, find it you can either find it on the sidebars or at the at the top of this uh, uh, right here you can find uh, under tools i believe draw uh, yes uh, let me check Yes, uh, on the under draw you need to have you need to see uh, the these uh, drawing tools. So just go ahead and choose uh, polyline. <coughs> Select polyline, and then uh, because you want to use a polyline to uh, draw this particular survey plan, so you can. Now, you, if you look, if you look at the bottom of, uh, or rather, the command line, it's going, it's telling you to uh, click at the starting point. You can, if you have uh, uh, the coordinates where you want to start from, well and good, you can go ahead. But in this particular case, you want to just randomly start from anywhere. So I've clicked there, and then we need to number one, you need to insert the distances, and then. Uh, we insert first of all distance then we insert the bearings so you cannot just start typing in the distances what you do is to uh, insert uh, at at simple and in order to insert at simple uh, press down shift and then uh, press 2 like that and then you can now type in the distance and uh, from this survey plan you can see that uh, from this particular point mx1 to bx1 the distance is 246.37 so i'm going to insert that uh, distance that is 246.37 and then uh, in order to insert the bearing uh, don't uh, click don't click enter yet just uh, press down uh, shift again and then uh, less than symbol like that 
so that we can start uh, the uh, bearing. So now we can see now the bearing. So this is the front bearing. It's 146, uh, 0 degrees, uh, 146 degrees, 0 uh, minutes and uh, 15 seconds. That's to mean that uh, this direction is from uh, uh, TL6 going downwards to MX1. So in order to find the back bearing of this uh, direction from X MX1 to TL6, you need to uh, add 180 to this particular. Uh, uh, so I'm going to 146, uh, 146 degrees, uh, 0 uh, minutes and 15 uh, seconds. If you add that to, if you add that to 180, uh, it's going to give you 326. So going back to our uh, drawing, type in the bearing that we have just calculated. That is uh, 326. And then 326, then you press uh, small d. That's for degrees. And then zero minutes. Uh, then click apro apostrophe for uh, uh, minutes simple. And then uh, 15 uh, seconds. Press down shift, then uh, the apostrophe to insert the double quotes. So if you click enter, so you can see that you have we have we have been able to upload that uh, line. So I, ju I just want to plot this uh, area, this large area. We are not going to plot the, the, this other one. So now we are we are at this particular point. We are going to move now from uh, B X one to B X two. We are going to repeat the same procedure. Uh, Press, uh, press down shift and then uh, 2 to insert at and then that's for distance that's for inserting distance and then I type in the distance and we can see that the distance here is 263.08 so 263.08 and then note I repeat again do not uh, click enter just press down in order to insert the bearing, just uh, press down shift and then less than simple. Uh, then you can see that the bearing here is a uh, front bearing and it is 56 degrees, 56. In order to, you can insert, uh, press small d for degrees and then zero minutes, press apostrophe and then uh, zero again for uh, seconds, zero, <coughs> press down shift and then apostrophe again to insert the uh, second symbol and then uh, click enter now we can see that we have uh, we have uh, plotted that uh, line so now we want to move from b to uh, bx2 to mx4 and then we can see that the bearing is a uh, front bearing it's not a back bearing so uh, again we are going to insert we, we only start with the uh, distance so in so in order to, inst to insert uh, distance again press down shift at and then the distance is 246 246 uh, 0.44 and then uh, shift again less than symbol to insert the bearing 144 uh, d for degrees uh, 51 uh, minutes apostrophe and then of course 29 uh, de, uh, 20, 49 uh, 29 seconds so double quotes for uh, second symbol so you can see 144 degrees uh, 21 uh, minutes uh, 51 minutes and then 29 seconds again uh, press the less than symbol uh, not less than symbol uh, sorry just press enter uh, I'm going to repeat this that process again because I've messed up let me just continue from where I left I'm going to uh, start I messed up so I'm going to start from where I I did the mistake so let me just continue from that particular point
Again, I'm going to repeat, uh, uh, press down shift at, insert the distance, it is 246.44, uh, shift down, and then less simple, less than simple, then of course 144 degrees, uh, 51 uh, minutes, and then 29 seconds. So at that particular point, if you have inserted the correct uh, bearing, you click enter. And then, now we are going to close. Uh, now at this point from MX4 to MX1, you can see this is 56, zero, 56 degrees, 0 minutes and 11 seconds. That's uh, a front uh, bearing, you want back bearing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, pull up my calculator and uh, calculate the back bearing so in order to find the back bearing uh, we're going to do the same way that we did the the first uh, bearing so type in the bearing and then add 180 to read so so the back bearing is 236 degrees 0 uh, minutes and 11 seconds so let's go back to our drawing and then uh, we start with the distance as usual uh, press uh, shift down and then before you release type in 2 for art and then uh, type in the di the distance that uh, you can see that the distance here is 268 so 268.01 and then press down shift and then click the uh, less than symbol for bearing so you've said that the bearing is back bearing so and it is 236 236 uh, degrees d for degrees uh, zero minutes uh, that's apostrophe for uh, mini symbol and then 11 uh, seconds then double quotes for uh, second symbol so uh, click enter so and then click enter again uh, to uh, to complete the the process so now that uh, uh, we have completed the uh, the process we can see that uh, we have now the uh, survey plan and uh, that's how you plot a survey plan or a survey a drawing in a survey plan using civo uh, 3d or uh, any autocad application so before I forget, uh, if you are no, not able to locate, if you are using a normal, uh, if you are using a normal AutoCAD, and you are not able to type in, let's say, uh, units in order to set your units, like uh, like you did the, in the first pre the first uh, step, units. If you type in units, what you can do is to, I believe, you can able to see at the top uh, this. Uh, ribbons we can be able to see a format if you see format click on it and then uh, there you'll see uh, units so under units click units then you'll be able to uh, set your units uh, accordingly so that's the end of this tutorial uh, see you in the next one